Vocab gal Sarah here with amazing author and friend Jean Neri, who writes great books including Surf Mules, Chess Rumble, the graphic novel Yummy, and his newest Ghetto Cowboys. One of my favorite words that I use a lot is dang. You know, it's like, dang, dang, son, what are you going to do that for? <laughs> you know, so it has a nice uh, little extra spice to it, you know, so I use that a lot. And then in my writing in general, there are certain words I use not on purpose, they just come out, and then I have to realize I've used them a thousand times. Words like like, <laughs> look, um, seems, um, just kind of pedestrian words that I use in everyday language. So when you find a word that you notice you use too many times, what do you do? I have to cut them out. I do uh, global word searches and I see I've used that word 807 times in my 250 pages. So instead of looking, you might gaze, you might gander, but I try to keep it simple and raw and stripped down to kind of bare essence of language. It's kind of like the E.B. White thing. I try to throw away any anything that can be thrown away, I try to throw away and just get down to the core essence of a sentence. So then why should other people know and love words? Uh, well, it's good to have kind of the whole arsenal at your disposal um, because you never know when you might use particular words. You're in different social settings, um, you will speak differently depending on who you're talking to. And if, you know, you want to be able to like hang out, you know, with the boys on in the court or, you know, hang out at the university with you know, professors and things like that. You want to be able to hold your own in any situation. So I'm pretty fluid in that way. I can, I can blend. Oh, do you have favorite authors who play with words? Um, Gary Schmidt, who wrote Lizzie Bright and the Buckminster Boy. That was a book, you know, it's not often where I will extract sentences and just kind of hold them like there's something really amazing about the language that's so impressive and vivid that I just want to take it out just to behold it, you know, and I will literally copy and paste them separately so I have that page or whatever. There's something amazing about the way he might have used language in that one particular page that made it incredible. You know, I like, I like somebody who can use the arsenal to a powerful effect. You know, I don't care how you speak or use language, but you have to say something.